What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to the Biotech Buzz, your favorite show for all things biotech stocks. I'm your producer, Rohan Makecha, and I'm here with my host, Vivi, Biotech Queen, at Biotech SD on Twitter. Vivi, what is up? Hello. Hiya. I'm How's everything good. How is everyone? All right. All right. We have some people rolling into the chat. Um, the Necker Cube is new to the stream. What's going on? Welcome to the Biotech Buzz Hello, family. Everybody. Hopefully you enjoy the show. Everybody. Yes, we, we are live. Last, um, last week, right? We didn't have the show, I think, on a Thursday. No, when did we have? We did not have a show last week, right? Or one? I, I, think, I, don't know. I think that was two weeks ago. I don't even remember, I guess. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Yes, how, let us know in the chat doing. how you're doing yeah. today. Yes, I can see. Hi. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Jeff. Okay. So do you want to put up, um, if I still tell you guys my holdings is because I'm still holding I, and I st still see a potential upside or I would have not been holding the stock by now. So let's start with my holdings. Can we, uh, uh, Rohan? Um, let's do BCRX. All right, adding that to the stream. Let's take a look at it. It is doing well today. Uh, no, it's not actually doing well. Um, it's uh, it's fifteen sixty three. You're seeing. Oh, the you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at a. I don't know the chart. You're is. looking at the wrong one. I mean, yeah. it, it's still. I mean, I hope it stays down there. Um, until I can add more, I'm 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 still trying to make this um, my biggest position. I have a full disclaim. I have a 18,000 shares. There's a lot of money invest in this company. It's my biggest holdings. It's the one that I'm banking that in uh, four or five years will be $100 a share. So my goal is to have a 20,000 shares. So it will give me two million in uh, you know th three to four years. So. I'm still holding BCRX. Uh, I feel like this is the loading zone between 15 and 17. I hate getting DMs. Oh, what's happening? And I got texts from family members. What is going on with BCRX? I'm like, geez, you, if you guys look at charts, nothing goes straight up, you know? So chill, guys. Like long term, fundamentally, it's an amazing company. They beat their earnings in Q1 by threefold. They're gonna beat again. Uh, we have a huge, um, we have a huge um, uh, call activity for September twenty dollar calls because we know August uh, is the first week of August. We're gonna have an ER, and so that's what I'm banking on. So then we can move down to KMPH. All right, let's pull it up. She's doing really well. Look at that. Look at that chart. I. I uh, told you guys I alerted like a seven bucks a share when I first talked on the show. So um, that would give you guys pretty much 100% gains. Uh, BCRX is like 300% gains. Uh, holding, really excited just for the pipeline, not just for the product. The Vivance team is the dream team. They're the ones launching this uh, product. I uh, Yes, there's risk because they're launching in July, but I, I hope the team will execute the sales. And we are going to see probably thirty dollars a share by the end of the year. I would have say it could even go up even, even higher because the float is really small. So then we can move down to ARDX. All right. All right. Let's take a look at it. So ARDX, um, I'm holding 10,000 shares uh, fully through Pedufa, have no concerns uh, whatsoever that's going to get approved. Um, they had an extension because there are changes into the label, but it's a drug that nephrologists were probably going to use that as first line because the last few burden, uh, uh, compared to your phosphate binders, you need uh, like three times of the pills a week. So I feel like uh, ARDX is going to be awesome. So I'm definitely holding through Pedufa. No, no fear at all. Okay here. So um, 
I'm still holding SRNE, uh, Sorrento. I have, uh, you know, if Sorrento goes against everything, actually it doesn't go against because they are, um, they still have some profitability, you know, because they have that other company that they own 30% and they have the patch. So it's not a company that doesn't have a commercial, um, commercialized, but it's a company that I, I have a FOMO and I hold no matter what, because I want to go get back to that 20 dollars a share then i sell and buy back it's it's like uh it it's i'm in at a seven bucks right now so it's uh there's a lot of fluctuation so i'm holding don't have a lot of shares of that because i don't like the ceo i told you guys but i like the pipeline so i feel like the pipeline is it's really really good then um if you can put on uh, on the list lctx so lineage so lineage goes against everything i do in pharma because i told you guys i usually don't um invest in companies that are not further out in development but uh here is my my process with the lineage uh they just had a um, proof of a concept of a stem cell and retina regeneration and there is a big guy at a as uh, stock tweets that is a surgeon He's heavily invested there. He thinks this company, uh, once we further out, it can go from $2 to $100 a share. This is the future stem cell. And they're able to regenerate retina, which you're never able to with stem cells. So uh, my strategy for this company, I did talk to the CEO. There is 10 months of money left. So you know that... Um, you know, it's going to be in a, in a few months, they're going to need to raise capital. So what do I do? I usually sell half at a, at a catalyst. So I think they're going to review some catalysts throughout those 10 months. And then when I see a, a nice bump, I sell and I wait it out for that offering to buy back. So this is going to be one of the stocks that I'm going to be in and out, but I'm not going to complete exit because I feel like this company is going to be a five billion dollar company, you guys. So if you do have the money just to sit aside and, and wait and just dollar cost average, because that's not another thing, too. I can just keep the shares I have. I have four thousand shares. And if there's an offering, buy up even more. So I'm not in a full position here, but I think this company, guys, is going to be a multi bagger, just like the other ones that I've been claiming. And I've been. Pretty much right. I mean, I'll give you guys already 100% earn of gains in those uh, shares that I, I talked to you guys about. So, another one that I'm still holding is Sens S E N S E N S that became a meme stock. Um, but uh, we, I think, the Pedufa is in October for their hundred monitor. Um, I told you guys, Roche owns 11% of this company. I feel like this company is going to be a multi-billion dollar company. The technology is amazing. So I am I have a 2,000 shares, um, 2,000 now. I have a 30 calls uh, expiring in July, and I'm going to convert those $2 calls into shares. So that puts me in a 3,000 shares because I do believe this company is going to be huge. So uh, that's one. And then, um, geez, I have way too many. I'm, I'm way too, I'm so heavy. That's why when the biotech rotation comes, I need that rotation because I'm so heavy in bio. And then I'm still holding SCSN, SCSN, which is Sense on it, uh, the uh, Sense Bio. And um, I, uh, I think I talked to you guys on the show. It was only two dollars and something. And I did not pull the trigger until like three ninety. But they're gonna have a, 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 the Pedufa is in August. I I'm definitely gonna hold some through because I think the drug is really promising. That's gonna keep patients um, with uh, cancer uh, into the the um, urologists are gonna be able to treat them instead of sending them out to infusion centers. So I feel like that's gonna be a huge sell up, sell up. And 75 percent of the urologists said that they would actually uh, prescribe this drug. So Ketudra, it's a it's it's a um, competition for Ketudra, which is a huge drug for Merck. So um, yeah, and then I have uh, uh, I have uh, this little little company, guys. That it's uh, every single time they're they're progressing. Um, if you can put LXSFG, I think Lexigen, uh, LX, LX, um, LXXF. See if it pulls up. See. Lexogen holding. So 
they have this really good diagnostic tool and for veterinarians and uh, their straight. I believe this company has a huge potential. Uh, they just announced that they sold one more, um, one, one their diagnostic uh, machine to a vet. So they're like ramp, ramping up with sales. I, um, I feel like this company has a huge potential. So I am holding this one. It's, um, I can give you guys some DD later on, but you guys can just, at least will give you guys a ticker idea so you can take a look. You shouldn't be doing your own DD anyways, right? I shouldn't be like giving you guys all the DD in the world because I am not your financial advisor. So, but at least I give you guys tickers for you guys to think. So do you want to, to uh, put it on um, a company that I just, I uh, bought it that I feel like there's a huge upside potential. It's OPHR. I just added it. So remember how OPHR um, went to seven. What was that ticker again? Uh, ORPH. ORPH. There we go. Um, remember how it went to $70 because there's a huge short coverage. So they went to $70, uh, I, I think, last week. So we have a Pedoof in two days. Obviously, very risky because it's Pedoof. But here's the interesting fact. Um, this company has indication for a rare disease for N, uh, NCT. And there's no approved drugs for that in the United States at all. And they got orphan designation. They have a prior review. They didn't have any ad com meetings at all. And, um, and I, I feel like compelled... I feel like this, I wanted to bottom because if that goes back 300, 400 fold, I wanted to be in it. Uh, it's a gamble because uh, you got to hold through Pedufa. So I, I didn't put more than I'm willing to lose. So we can either go to 50 again, 60, or we can go down to back to five. But I feel very good. The data looks really, really good. Um, and also um, the competition, the only drug out there it's uh, it's made of alex 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 and uh, dj and it's not approved in the united states it's only approved in europe and now it's generic so they're gonna capture the whole market in the united states it's the only one the first one ever approved for nct so i feel like this is almost like if the fda approved that alzheimer's you know, a biogen, I feel like there's a compelled reason to approve a drug that doesn't have anything else approved for that condition, right? So I'm taking a gamble here, you guys. Um, it's in two days, the Pedufa. I, um, I, feel, I feel pretty confident, to be honest, um, because it's a, it's a rare disease. And there's rumors, though, if we get approved, that could be a huge potential for a buyout. I see the molecule only has indications potential of maybe Johnson Johnson buying them because Johnson Johnson had that drug approved outside of the United States. So that would be it. I probably forgot a bunch of my, my tickers. I'm not, I don't have my account completely open here, but I think I gave you guys enough, uh, enough, uh, tickers. And, uh, I promised somebody on Twitter that I was going to, uh, check at and &M. Can you check at and &M for me? Oh yeah, Kala, Bill. I I I am totally Kala. It I think has a huge potential. We go back to Kala. I own Kala shares and I own SPPI. So I'll go back to that. I know okay, well Kala. Yes, yeah, so Kala. I told you guys. Um, it's I when I told you guys uh, that I purchased was in the three. So again, guys, hundred percent. Um, I feel like this. Uh, because of COVID, I feel there's a huge potential for this dry eye medication that's going to be used first line. I see a potential buyout by Novartis because their medication is inferior, uh, but it could be a really good combo, you know, to add to uh, these uh, pharmaceutical wraps, their bags to add this medication. Um, so I'm holding, and I feel like the potential here is massive. So it used to be like $12 a share. Um, so um, just give it a time. I feel like sales are going to come. They have a really, really, really good product. So I still own SPPI. I told you guys that I bought around the three, three area. Uh, so how many shares? Okay. I don't, guys, don't hate me. I took my AMC. I had like $30,000 profit from my AMC. Okay. Go ahead and hate on me. 
I took 2000 and bought Wish and I uh, uh, Wish shares that I'm holding to 20 and another thousand about um, ORPH. So if you don't spend money, you don't make money, right? I thought this is the earnings from AMC. Um, if I lose, I lose five grand. And if I make, I'll probably make 20 grand. So full disclosure, but it's a risk, right? So it's a risk I'm willing to take, you know? So I'm, 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 I'm willing to lose five grand if I have to. So, okay, SPPI, can you put SPPI in too? So we're still waiting. I don't think we have news from the inspections in Korea and we're gonna have an FD approval. There's a drug for neutropenia, which is very important for cancer patients. So I'm holding through it. I feel like this, this if we get approval, it's gonna be a 15 to $20 stock. So I, uh, I am, I'm holding full uh, my, all my shares. And then um, go back to ATNM. I want to talk to you guys about ATNM. So actinium, shame me once, shame me twice, shame on me, right? So uh, I went and bought them uh, before they did the reverse split. It was like thirty cents, and then the reverse split put them back at a fourteen bucks. And look at it today at eight forty-five. So I sold it like at a loss, at a like when it was, I put a stop loss and I sold a loss. And they are, they don't have anything out. They're still in phase three. I still feel like we have a year. And so the pipeline, it looks really robust, but they only have a $14 million left in cash. So I went and did my work uh, for you guys and they're earning $5.8 million a quarter. So what do you think that's gonna do? They're gonna raise more capital and they're gonna I dilute the stock. It's not a stock I would ever buy at this level right now. Um, not until it's it's after they raise capital again. So mark this post. They're gonna raise capital again, and you're gonna be like, Vivi was right. So they have like 5.3. They're burning 5.3 million dollars a quarter. So another thing I wanna tell you guys, I'm still holding Travina T R V N. So I'm still holding Travina. They are getting in more and more in insurance. I feel like um, right here at the bottom, not even the bottom, right? You guys had opportunity to buy it at a 150. I've been holding, I think my, my I haven't added more. I think with my proceeds from ARDX, I'm gonna buy more Travina. I feel all is gonna be a much better vacation than um, morphine. Morphine causes a lot of nausea. Uh, and uh, all is going to be used, but because of the COVID and because of formulary, now every time, um, every time you go into Travina's website, there is more and more insurance plan. So I feel this company is going to, it has a really, really bright future and it has a slow uptake in sales because during COVID, reps don't even have access to hospitals. Um, things are starting going back to normal. So, um, I love Selb. Somebody says Selb. I I think Selb has a huge future, but I would have to look into Selb. I think Selb, like to put in well, IRA, set and forget it. Next time I have a, and next time Selb has been on a trajectory. So yeah, next time I see a dive on Selb, I'm gonna add it. Selb, it's another one that I think will be a multi uh, bagger for sure. Uh, okay, so uh, AT and X. I sold, I took a $20,000 loss there. I know guys, you know, it sucks. But that's okay, I made it up at BCRX and KMPH and everything else. But I, uh, they got a second life because they, they acquire a company with a lot of uh, things in the pipeline. But I told you guys, if the, the money there is sitting, it's not making the money. So um, I, I feel like, yeah, if you leave there on your IRA because you lost from $11, I you you're gonna get your money back, no doubt. But how long is it gonna take, right? So for me, it wasn't worth it. I just put in something else at the time that I was um, making money. So that's why I'm not holding. That doesn't mean it's not a bad. That was one of my, you know, my my flaws. Perceptive advisors had a 13 million uh, shares. I respect them a, a lot as a as a biotech investors. But unfortunately, the FDA um, didn't see 
you know, the same things. And um, it was a big letdown. I think a lot of people in a biotech, a lot of investors that are used to, to buying and used to looking at data were really disappointed that um, they didn't approve. So, uh, so let's go to questions. What do you think, Rohan? Oh my God, it's 11.59. How are you guys? Uh, do we have like a couple minutes? Since everybody's yeah, we... been running on the show, seriously? Sorry guys, make you guys wait. I was sitting here yeah, waiting no. too. Um, don't sorry yeah apologies for the late start guys but we can 100 percent run a little long okay, i don't think we have so anything directly after to us some questions i told you guys okay blue i think blue has a huge upside blue just reinstated their um their studies got halted blu their studies got halted because they thought that, that was causing cancer um and then it got restated three days or five days ago so look at the potential upside here for blue. I think we can we can get a thirty percent. It's just right now I don't have. I'm I'm playing so many bios. Uh, if I had the money, I would buy blue down here for sure. So uh, blue has a lot of potential. Oh, okay, here. Yeah, I saw Travis Mitchell bought fifteen hundred shares of a KMPH. I own more shares. I buy more more shares than Travel Mitchell, but it's kind of cool. I mean, that's twenty grand, but that's kind of peanuts for him, right? But this is the dream team uh, uh, for sure uh, for KMPH. Okay, um, ITRM. What is the what is the? Okay, so ITRM. I took a huge loss. I bought it at three dollars um, for at the time, just for for because the technicals look good, and then the whole market caved in on all of us, right? I think that we were so up in December, and everybody took a dive in January, February. I because they had a two failed studies. I know that they they have a, they're seeking indication for non complicated UTI. Um, I know Cipro works really really good. I would not particularly. Um, I know that they removed the outcome. I, I I would be hesitant if I, I had a huge large position. You know, if I had like thirty thousand shares, I would not hold through, through Pedufa. So it's just, you know, if I had a two thousand shares of that, I would probably hold and take the risk. So I I'm a little hesitant here. Um, don't like the that they failed that they finally found you know changed their population to finally gonna finally having the good data so it makes me a little hesitant antibiotics are really really hard to sell in this market too it's not an easy sell so if you guys buy and you guys hold through Pedufa, i i would completely immediately sell um leave a little bit maybe because i know you guys are all talking about a buyout everybody dreams about a buyout but if they're going alone guys this is going to be disaster it's going to be really 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 hard to sell antibiotics against cipro so that's my opinion Obviously, you guys choose to do what you guys want to do. Um, OPGN, I don't know if I know that. And I think I, I've seen SCYX. It's too far out. There's nothing going on. Um, uh, ASRT, don't know. Okay. Jeff, um, if you look at LLC, LCTX, go to the stock tweets and look at it, all the like the surge and all the DD. Um, that company is going to be amazing, guys. I um, I'm not exiting out my position. Actually, I will it will be a company that I will slowly add it when they have to raise money in ten months. I will add it more. So um, this is a nice set and forget it type of stock in my IRA. The same as Selb for sure. And I think that would be it. Anybody else? Okay. Yeah, I don't, I have to go. Okay. Yeah, SPPI, I think it's going to be really, really good. I like Sage. Sage is a good company. Uh, I don't own Sage, but I think Sage is, is a good company. So, uh, and then, oh, come on. I already talked about BCRX. I'm holding BCRX. Okay, so here's how I do it. Uh, for you guys, so you know, as a trader, you, you don't, or even a swing trader, you don't put all your eggs in a basket, right? So BCRX is appropriation. Every time I have gains, I put towards BCRX. 
BCX. Every time I have a game, I look forward to it, it's BCX. Because I know it's not like, uh, I know they're going to beat earnings in August. I know that the fact to D, they already proof concept. I know they're going to have a, a, a the PNH a drug is going to be in the end of 2022, beginning of 2023. And plus that, Factor D pipeline is going to extend to like eight rare diseases. So I'm really intrigued about rare diseases and cancer medications and, you know, stem cells and gene therapy. Things are actually very innovative. I don't particularly would invest in a company that has antibiotics like ITRM. It's just not one of my passions. So uh, rare diseases, that's what the money is. That's what, you know, drugs go for 100K a, a year, 150 a year. Those are the money maker um, uh, companies. So that's why when I look at a company, I look at a lot for unmet needs and rare diseases. So yes, KMPH uh, Astaris launch is coming in July. I think the team is amazing. So hopefully they can execute it. Um, there's always risk, right? Um, I have a, a psychiatrist friend. I am gonna be bugging his ear and asking him for the rap has been there and if he has written because he loved Focal and XR. But like like I said, Focal and XR wasn't um, lasting longer. That's why um, a lot of doctors needed to prescribe a second Focal and XR at the end of the day, and that the insurance doesn't pay for that. So my son is on Focal and XR, which. KMPH Asteras is a pro drug of, of a Focal and XR. So they came up with a, a better medication, the Focal and that's going to give you that 30 minute onset, but it's also going to last longer. It's going to last 13 hours. I um, I have to say, my son, when he doesn't take his pills, guys, he's he's thin. He's bouncing off the walls and he's like, Ugh! like he goes nuts. And I know exactly that he has not taken his Focal and XR. So I'll be honest, it doesn't change him like at all with a change. Like they say, they kind of get zombie. Uh, but I would like to put him on a stair as when it comes because it's going to last longer. <laughs> it's going to last until it's time for him to go to bed. So he's like not going like he, he wants to taunt me and he's taunting his sister. He, he's off the wall. So um, I think a star is it's an improved version of a focal and XR. So I think it's going to be a winner. And I think I think we're good, right? I will I will write it down and I'll give you guys my opinion. I, I gave you guys my opinion at ATM. I went and did my research and why I would not invest down here. Uh, but I'll uh, I'll look at those stickers and I'll tell you guys um, for Thursday. How's that sound? Sounds good. Thank you, Vivi. Thank you for coming on and providing the knowledge. Um, and uh, looking forward to catching you guys that next exactly Thursday like for this coming Thursday. For KMPH is at least 30 by the end of the year. You know, the, the float is slow. So you got to look at the float size as well when you determine, you know, determining, um, the determining price, you're going to look at a market cap and the float, right? So if you have a low market cap with a tiny float, that stock might be $200 a share because the float is tiny. The market cap is not going to be as high. So that's, you got to, Look, that's why I look at stocks because you can really gain a lot, you know, just because to get into the market cap with the last shares, the price goes higher. So it's, it's, um, it's, I like low float stocks for sure for that reason, you know, to reach their market cap. So can pinch can go to a hundred dollars easy, you know? So we'll see what happens. We will see. All right, folks. Okay. I think that just about does it for today's show. Um, we'll catch you Thursday and uh, come ready with your questions. Okay, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Okay, bye. All right, sounds good. See you, everyone.